Hey everybody, okay, well this is Nick G with GlobalCurrencyReset.net. That's GlobalCurrencyReset, all, you type it all together, dot N-E-T. Alright, so we've got the video right here uh, with Christine Lagarde. This is at Davos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just advance it a little. Uh, to search for this video, you're going to search for um, World Economic Forum. Uh, I don't know why I just said Davos. I think it is Davos. It was in Davos, Switzerland, I believe. But it's called Global Economic Outlook 2014. Um, and she does talk about the reset on here. It's coming up at about the 9-11 uh, mark. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, load the video audio. Here we go. And just here it comes right up here. On a topic that is obviously a, a little bit complicated. My last R is reset. We seeing as necessar necessary going forward a reset in the area of monetary policies. We believe that quantitative easing and the accommodating monetary policies that have been adopted so far should be continued up until such point where growth is well anchored in those economies, and this is not yet the case everywhere. Reset in the sense that once it is well anchored, then those accommodating monetary policies have to be reformulated, have to move either back into their old territories or be more traditional or be maybe of a different kind, and I'm sure central bankers around here will be able to comment on that, but that's first reset. Second reset is the one that Mark is, is I hope, going to talk about it, about, which is the financial sector reform and regulatory environment that is clearly undergoing a major reset at the moment. And the final reset, which is my last word, Martin, is those structural reforms that are necessary in all corners of the world. Very often people think structural reforms, okay, for some of those advanced economies that have such rigid labor markets. No, it's not just that. And I'm not sure that I would necessarily associate advanced economies with rigid markets, nor would I mark flexibility as the ideal solution for it. But structural reforms are needed in product markets, service markets, but they're also needed in emerging market economies where structural reforms can take a completely different form from those that I've just mentioned. And they have to do with bottlenecks in certain countries, they have to do with proper governance, and they certainly take multiple forms, including that of unleashing the potential that is there, but that is still constricted by a lot of licensing rights, protective barriers, and so on and so forth. I've finished with my three R's, the most important one of the three being the one that I've not commented on, but that you have eloquently commented on, which is R for recovery. I knew that I would okay, liberate that's... you to focus on... All right, that's, that's enough with it right there. Okay, so I'm actually on the site right now. Uh, here, I'll go ahead and um, scroll down a little, and you can see... There you go. should be able to see what it says right there, Global Economic Outlook 2014. What should be at the top of the agenda for the global economy in the year ahead? And you have the speakers here, and then the theme is competitiveness. So once again, um, the website's going to be on uh, weforum.org. Uh, that's World Economic Forum, and you're going to search for this video right here. Uh, again, if you want more information on the Global Currency Reset, go to globalcurrencyreset.net. Global Currency Reset. You type that all together, .net. You don't need to type www. You don't need to type HTTP. Just, just type it like you, like you hear it. Globalcurrencyreset.net. Okay? All right, everybody. Um, that's it for now. End of recording.